You have lost the match. Like unto us? Now, what is this talking about? Well, Three, it's talking about demons. Two, one. How do we know it's talking about demons? Because it because it says in the next verse. Actually, skip a verse. It talks about a fallen angels. Oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. So he's saying we're gonna be as just like they are. We're gonna be stuck, trapped in this more horrible, infernal, blazing infernal abyss. stupid, you know, highfalutin, high-minded people out there that are, like, really, you know, so-called intelligent, they're atheists, they've got all this knowledge, they've got, you know, PhD, and all this stuff, all these different subjects of science, and, you know, they're, 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 they're not saved, their pump is going to be brought down to the grave by the noise of thy, thy vial. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Now that tells us that it's going to be worms in hell.
You have lost the match. Jesus Christ. 
Christ had to die to save you from that place. Jesus Christ had to give up his life. Jesus Christ had to die and be buried resurrected from the dead. That's how horrible hell was, but look how wonderful Jesus Christ is. Look how wonderful you know, salvation is. So that's the bad news. The bad news is that people that are lost are going to hell. God makes that clear to God. Separation from God. And I don't care what Billy Graham and whoever says it. It's separation from God. No, it's not separation from God. It's wrath, it's punishment, it's torment, and it's horrible. Turn to second thefts. Here's why people do that. They call hell the bad place. Or they call it, you know, separation from God. They, they're just trying to water it, this whole doctrine down. That's all. That's why they're doing it. They're trying to water it down. They're trying to water the...
Thessalonians chapter 1. Look at verse 8. In flaming fire. In flaming fire. Taking vengeance on them that know not God. That's talking about hell. Hey, the people in hell don't know God. No, this is crazy. They may know who they may know who God is, and they may know he's holy and just. They may have mocked him and ridiculed him. Bad on the Bible. They said, I don't believe in this God. I have met people right now that are hell never hell down there. Some of them are already in hell. I talk to them. Oh, I'm talking about horrible people. I don't know who you are. You 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 don't know who you are. It's all about what you do. I think these people are just so blind. They've been living in a sheltered, cloistered life. They don't know what you about reality. They don't know jack about the match how wicked is people starting. are. I'm telling you right now, in my days of your I can recollect being around some of the most ungodly, wicked, disgusting, reprobates Three, you ever imagined. Two, and, and, and I'm going to right now, they were horrible people. But when you mentioned God, if you mentioned Jesus Christ, they became twice as, they become five times as horrible as they were the other time. I'm talking to black things about God. They cussed God, they cursed God, they mocked God, they just they put the in front of it. God is blaspheming, hating God to the core, and I'm gonna tell you right now that if you say that they're gonna burn there forever, they're gonna burn there forever, it's gonna be, you know, gut wrenching. And why am I getting so fed up with that? I don't know. People who hate God so much, would blaspheme God so much to curse him. When he, when he created you, he created you to have his own image. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to the cross, to die for you, to pay for your way to heaven, to pay for your life, to free gift, to save you by his grace. And these things are not separate events. They are the same thing that you save and secure forever. I hope you believe on Christ. Yes, people want to talk about that. People want to check that. People want to shake their fist and say, I'm an atheist. You know, hell is deserving, and that's why I'm preaching this. Every last bit of it, I don't care how bad it is, every bit of it is deserving. God is not up to for sending people there, or letting them send themselves there for rejecting His grace. Hey, look at these people, they didn't want anything to do with that. They, in flaming fire, they need vengeance. Hell is not a real reformation. Hell is not a rehabilitative place. But I've heard some people they, they suggest that. Well, hell is a place of correction. No, it's not a place of correction. You got jail for that. You got prison for that. Hell is a place of punishment. Everlasting punishment. Some people have said, how could, how could God send people to hell forever and just punish them for infinite for finite time? They're not finite time. Not finite time. Anything, every sin you've committed has an, a permanent effect on everything for all eternity. Goodbye. Somebody. You've taken a, a human life that, that God created destroyed from heaven. But my point is you've destroyed I mean everyone everyone that loved that person is gonna suffer for the rest of their life. The, 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 the crimes you commit, the sins you commit are not finite. That they know not God and they obey not the gospel and believe on Christ of our Lord Jesus Christ shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. That tells you it's everlasting destruction. He just like he's destroyed over and over again. Throwing a person into like a you know a fire or it's a liquid metal. And the, the metal just goes all over their flesh like napalm. And it just tears them and just starts eating at their, their skin and just, you know, tearing it up. And then it gets into their eyes and it starts to just, like, you know, like, acidically just rot their eyeballs out. And it never stops. And it never lets up. And there's no relief. And there's no reprieve. And there's no stop. And there's no mitigation. And it's just tough and tough and forever. You're just screaming, weeping, and gnashing of teeth and, you know, ah! infinite, ad infinitum. There's no relief. No relief. There's no drop of water to get a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of water. So it never gets, it never, it just goes on and 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 on
If not, we're just gonna go into the new test. Well, never mind. That everlasting remains. burning. That's a pretty descriptive, uh, pretty descriptive of, of uh, how, how horrible health would be. Turn over to Matthew chapter 25. And you know what? The Arminians out there are saying that you can lose your salvation. They're just as wicked as thousand years ago. But there are some people out there they say, well, these people are just flat retarded. They say, well, wait a minute. 